in order to deploy the project deploy the project we should have a server in the aws infrastructure we required a server to deploy a project in order to run our project in the aws infra we required one server in order to in order to run the application we need to install the server widely using server is a tomcat server i'm going to install tomcat server in our ec2 instance in our ec2 instance installing tomcat server let us see installation of tomcat server open a browser tomcat.apache.org tomcat.apache.org go to the tomcat 10 under downloads under downloads tomcat 10 under tomcat 10 you can see binary distribution core binary distribution and the core you need to select a tar dot gz whichever i selected in that location only click so we don't require to download we required a link of this everybody you can just right click on tar.gz copy link address copy link address please observe we are not downloading this one we are taking the link address right click on top of tar.gz tar.gz copy link address come to the mobax sitter let me go for new connection new session sudo wz for downloading purpose then whatever link you copied whatever link you copied right click and paste straight away straight away in the ec2 instance i am downloading tomcat tar dot gz press enter downloading got over you can go for ls you can see apache tomcat there is one downloaded file i'll show you once again just to go to tomcat.apache.org under downloads tomcat 10 under tomcat 10 binary distributions core in this binary distributions core there is a tar.gz 
right click on top of tar.gz right click on top of tar.gz copy link address after copying link address go for sudo wz space right click and paste you need to specify the link from where it has to download already we installed wz in our ec2 instance press enter it's maximum taking one or two seconds only to download in my system there are two files two times i downloaded two times i downloaded there are two files let me remove this file with a one whatever is there let me copy this file file name remove purpose sudo rm hyphen rf then file name whichever file you want to remove rm space hyphen rf space hyphen rf lot of options we need to supply exact options now you can check it out ls if you want to remove any folder or any file you can use rm but to don't remove if you are if at all you download it two times then only advisable to remove this is the tar file it's almost similar to zip file come on guys in the linux environment tar file is almost a kind of zip file now we need to extract this command copy this tar file name everybody copy this tar file name in the ls you can see i am copying tar file name use tar command in order to extract tar file in order to extract a tar file use a tar command there are some options hyphen zx pvf hyphen zx pvf then give a space mention whatever you copied by using tar command we are extracting tar file by using tar command we are extracting tar file i am just showing the entire command here please check it out tar zx pvf tar zx pvf zx pvf press enter extracted tar file after extracting tar file go for ls you will find one folder extracted tar file kept inside a folder even while extracting any 
rar file or zip file in the windows environment you are getting one folder got it so tomcat tar file got extracted tomcat tar file got extracted now go to cd space everybody cd space just to type apa press tab just to type two three characters apache then press tab we are going inside a tomcat extracted folder this is the tomcat extracted folder cd space apa now you can see ls cd space apache tomcat 10.0.20 inside a tomcat unzipped bundle inside a tomcat unzipped bundle you can find a bin con lib logs lot more folders are there go into the bin folder cd space bin I'll show you once again, everybody. This is our home directory, present working directory, EC2 user. Go for ls. There is a Apache Tomcat folder, cd space Apache Tomcat folder. Press tab. Go for ls. There is a bin folder. Cd space bin. Go for ls. You can see startup dot sh, shutdown dot sh. these two files we will be using to start the server to stop the server so we are two steps ahead i'm just going back to the home directory so if you go for present working directory this is the home directory cd space maybe you can go for ls cd space apache cd space maybe go for ls cd space bin <coughs> go for ls now let me show how to start tomcat server everybody current directory you have to represent from the bin folder if you want it check it out present working directory this is the present working directory go for dot slash startup dot sh dot slash dot represents the current directory dot slash startup dot sh startup dot sh dot slash startup dot sh now you can see in the bottom in the bottom tomcat started have you found the tomcat started
EC2 dashboard, EC2 instance. Click on ID of the EC2 instance. Please observe. Go to the EC2 instance. Through EC2 dashboard, you can identify EC2 instance. Click on the instance ID. Click on the instance ID. Under instance ID, come little down. You can find a security. There is one tab called security. Click on the security tab. Under security tab, there is one security group. There is one security group. By default, this group will be. It is a default security group. It's a default security group. Click on the security group. Click on security group. Under security group, you can see edit inbound rules. Edit inbound rules. Edit inbound rules. Click on edit inbound rules. Edit inbound rules. In the edit inbound rules, you need to select first one as a all traffic. By default, it will be HTTP. Select the all traffic. The first drop down, select all traffic. By default, it will be HTTP. Select all traffic. Then there is a source. Select any way. IPv4. Select anywhere IPv4. Select anywhere IPv4. All traffic anywhere IPv4. IPv4, not IPv6. IPv4. Then, in the bottom, you can see save rules. Click on save rules. You will be getting a green color saved successfully. So with this 
security role, we can able to access our Tomcat server from anywhere in the internet. You can access my Tomcat server by you, your Tomcat server by any way through the security group. Now, take the public IP address of your EC2 instance. Go to EC2 instance. Copy public IP address. Copy public IP address. Open a browser. Go to HTTP colon everybody. It's not a HTTP yes. It's a HTTP colon. Two forward slashes. Control B, public IP address, colon, 8080. This 8080 is a Tomcat server port number. The default port number to the Tomcat server is 8080. We are making a call to We are making a call to Tomcat server which is running in the EC2 instance. Press enter. If you are getting this one, then your Tomcat server installation and starting very success. You can able to access this Tomcat server from anywhere in the internet. Anybody can able to access by specifying your EC2 instance public IP address and the Tomcat default port number 8080. Now server is up in the EC2 instance. Anybody can able to access. If you want it, you can check it out. The same you can access from your system also. This is my EC2 instance, public IP address. You can just check it out, accessing of this. Tomcat server is up.